Hello, and welcome to the show. As you may have noticed, the show's a little different than normal. And well, there's a reason behind that, and we'll get to that. I'm Genuva Kapusa, as you know, and here we are on a sort of a new show. This show is, um, very, very unique, very new, you know, to, to me anyway. So, I decided I'm going to come to you with a, a sort of a mini-series sort of a thing um, called Art with Genuva. And basically, it's... Have you ever seen that show, um... Bob Ross, the guy with the big hair, and he paints for you, and he teaches you how to paint? Well, that's sort of what this is, but it's a little better than his show, because, you know, I'm better than him when it comes to all things. I'm like a little bit of Martha Stewart, a little bit of Bob Ross, a little bit of, you know... Everything we're here to do today is art. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of... I'm going to show you how to do some basic skills with art, you know. And then I'm going to teach you some things about art history. And, you know, I'm, we're going to talk about some different real paintings that exist. Not that mine aren't real, but, I mean, from, like, famous people. Not that I'm not famous either, so I guess we can just talk about my stuff. But... I'm not that selfish, unlike some people who try to steal my show. You know what I mean? But that's okay. So, I'm coming here from my, you know, you know, I don't even know. So, uh, we'll just go to that. So, this is sort of like an introduction. This is Art with Geneva. Woo! <laughs> This is not just my studio, but it's my house now. You know, so it's fun, okay? This is my new apartment. It's fun. Well, of course it's fun, because I'm here by myself. By myself, because I can do things by myself. You know, I don't need anybody else to help me. That's what the show's about, isn't it? To live on your own. Not with friends who stab you in the back with their knives. <laughs> so, anyway. We're going to be talking right now. This is where the mini-series part comes in. I'm going to teach you some basic skills about painting. You know, and today we are going to be painting on the show. Painting with, um, oil paints, but well, I'm just going way too fast, you know? I'm going way too fast for you to understand what the heck I'm talking about. So, first of all, um, my new apartment well, you're probably wondering, you know, I look a little different than I normally do, don't I? I'm wearing a new hat, and got some new glasses, and there's a reason behind that. Well, my old hat, I don't know where it happened to it. You know, somebody took it from me. And my glasses, they stole them too. I don't know. I must have got mugged. <laughs> Who knows what's going on here, you know? Now, there's a word in the artist language called medium. Medium. Can we all say it? Medium. Now, what a medium is, is anything, really. Medium is canvas, or paper, or pencils, or, you know, it could be anything. So we're going to hurry up and get to it, okay? Okay. So, today's word, like I said, is medium. Now, this is medium, is canvas. Canvas cardboard 8x10. That's what we're using right now. There's another kind of medium, and that's what you use to, to do your pictures, you know. And that's what I'm going to tell you about now. And particularly today, today's medium is oil paint. You know, oil paint. What you do with oil paint is you... Well, you don't want to go... <laughs> well, you might. That might be a masterpiece, too. You know, that's like those fancy, I don't even know what you call them, modern art. 
modern art stuff. You just squish them, squirt them all over the canvas, and it just looks like shit, and people pay money for it. But, you know, that's not what we're doing today. We're, we're actually making something that looks good. We're gonna hurry up and just, you know, do it, okay? So basically, oil paint is, is you know, oil and pigment. This is canvas. It could be paper, it could be crap, it could be, you know, you, you can use poop as medium if you really want to. I, there have been, in fact, people that used fecal matter as, you know, stuff to paint with, well, not paint poop with, it, but it, they, they sell for masterpieces. I'm not really sure why, because I would not, well, ugh. The basic thing is you got to be creative when you're an artist, and I like to be creative, you know? And what you want to do when you want to be creative is you want to take a look at the canvas. I'll do that now. I'm looking at the canvas. I'm scouting it out. I'm trying to see what I see in it. Well, obviously, I see nothing but white. Here. What do you see? Nothing but white, huh? And today we're going to do a basic landscape. And we're going to keep adding to the painting as the, as the time goes by. We're going to keep adding on and adding on and seeing what else it comes up to be. Okay? Because this is show number one of many probably to come before we actually finish this thing because it's going to take a long time. Let me tell you people at home, painting is not a fast process, especially if you're using oil paint. It's going to take a while for it to dry. I'm going to start out with a little horizon line. I don't know if you can see that at home. Little horizon line. And maybe some mountain lines. We're going to start out with the sky first. You know, just so you get that done. There's many different colors and things that you don't really see. You know? So basically, what you do is you'll squirt the paint onto the palette, like so, you know? Now that's a green color. This particular color will not come in an oil set that you'll find at Walmart. This comes from an expensive art store. This is Tervoteur. What's the name of this color? Tervoteur. You want to put some Tervoteur on there? This will come in a Georgian art supply set. You can buy them at Walmart in the craft section. This particular color is French Ultramoon. French paint. And I use a lot of white. And you probably will too. Because blending colors is, is a thing, you know. Actually, for this also, I like to use the color raw umber. Burnt umber. It's a brown. Um, it kind of reminds me of poop. You want to get some of this French Ultramoon in here. Along with some... Zinc white. I, I don't know. What kind of white is it? Let me look. Titanium white. I knew it was some sort of chemical. Could have been cyanide white. Or cocaine white. You know, it could have been anything. Like so. And that's blue, as you can see. You know. So what we're doing now is we're mixing the colors. Blue, blue, blue. Sometimes I don't even mix the colors while I'm doing it. I like to maybe sometimes just put down one color. Sometimes I don't put down any. What I like to do is I like to start from this corner here and work my way down to here. That way I can, you know, get a good distribution in the sky because if I started here and work my way, then I could get my hand in the paint and that would not be fine. You know, Da Vinci was an artist. And he painted the Sistine Chapel ceiling. And it was fun for him. The Sistine Chapel was a museum. And in that museum, they had lots of paintings. And Leonardo da Vinci decided I'm such a big good artist that I'm just gonna paint on the ceiling, you know? And that's what he did. Paint on the ceiling. 
Well, that's Sistine Chapel Museum. And I guess none of the original paintings are even there anymore. It's just the ceiling.